Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy, your boy Augie here, hopping on the mic. I'm probably going to be doing uh, a fair amount of top 16, just kind of filling in gaps and comms, so, so get used to hearing me from here on out. Um, can someone please tell me what the uh, game, game count is? I kind of just got over to, to, to get this, get this streamed. Let me update the... Oh, zero, zero. Perfect. So, I'm not gonna lie, when I was, like, looking at, uh... When I was looking at all of the shit that was gonna get, uh... That was gonna happen, this was high-key one of the sets I was most excited for. Just because I think of... I think of Dusk as a bit of a, a Falcon killer. And so the the prospect of him playing uh playing against a really good a good falcon like Caro is just gonna be sick. So I'll uh, make sure ports. Okay, switch ports and then Caro one oh. 
Yeah, so it looks like we got a first first up for, for Karo here. Um Yeah, there's been a it's been it's been a bit of a, a crazy crazy day. Especially being a being being kinda like one of the main people running it. Um like like there's been like some DQs and like some upsets and like a lot of like tiebreakers and shit and pulls, so it's been kinda crazy, but I have no idea what top 16 is going to look like. It's probably going to look nothing like projected, but all in all, I think this is it's running It's running well. Everyone's having fun. I hope you guys are, are enjoying watching it, you know, just seeing some, some Sky Guy action, some, some, some of the better gamers in the southeast, you know. Just glad we could, uh, you know, get some... Get, shine some light on, on, the, on the Sky Guys and a lot of the, the talent we got down here in Melee. But, um... Let's see what we got going on here. So it looks like Kiro's got a solid, uh, solid stock lead. Um, yeah. So yeah, I wow, holy shit, that punish is kind of crazy. Um, the main thing that I'm seeing here is it doesn't feel like, like care, like like Matt's getting any, any uh, real openings off his pressure. It feels like, um. Yeah, it just kind of feels like uh, every time he's like jumping into the aerial in, he's getting caught with Nair, and um, uh, a lot of the stuff that was that was being done on sh on Shield was just like really not getting the getting the job done. Um, so yeah, I mean, oh no, Kara is an extremely player. They they are the higher seed here. Um, I kind of felt like this was definitely something that that Matt could Matt could make happen, but. Um, yeah, this is a... Let's see how he does with platforms. I do think, specifically, when you have, like, a really talented box fox and someone that's more of, like, a a really, like, proficient, like, aerial RTC here, FD can go really poorly really quickly. And I think it's just, like, the the jank that comes from Fountain more more benefits, more benefits the Falco here. Um... Let's see if Dust can get some. Yeah, it's just a, a lot better there with the with the shine. I feel like I haven't seen a lot uh, too many shines. I feel like I'm just um yeah just struggling to get down from top lat, and it just feels like Karo every time he gets one opening, he's just getting a giant uh, a giant knee that he needs. At least so far. Yeah, look, gets that gets that knee. Yeah, so looking uh looking like we got a strong strong Kiro lead here. Which feels like uh Kiro is being is just playing really fast and um as having trouble sort of collecting his footing. Um it just feels like, uh, my guess would be, like, the, the neutral openings for kill is just, like, extremely in Kiro's favor. And it feels like all of these scrambles are just leading to Matt taking big percent, rather than Falco getting, like, that up tilt that you might expect, or that shine that you might expect, you know? So. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the stop, and me. Yep. Wow, so I think that should actually be the uh, the last set for now that will be on on mainstream. We're gonna take a, a little bit of a 